Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to see how much RAM or memory you have installed on your Macintosh computer, specifically the Mac OS Sierra version. So pretty straightforward, I have a feeling I would understand why you guys would want to know how much memory you have installed. Maybe you have an additional memory slot and you want to know if you can max out the memory on your computer or perhaps it's already been expanded or upgraded to a size that is no longer upgradable with the existing hardware configuration in place. So in this brief tutorial I will show you guys how to find out. And we're going to start by going up to the top left corner of the screen and left clicking on the Apple icon. And now that you've done that you want to left click on the first option that says about this Mac. Now on the top you want to go over to the memory tab and left click on it. This left graphic will show you how much memory you currently have installed. It will tell you how many memory slots are currently available on your computer. And it will tell you what kind of megahertz DDR RAM module would be required for that. So this is a little bit skewed in my case, however it should make a little bit more sense in yours. I doubt many of you will appear to show 128 memory slots but it's just something to keep in mind and it will tell you how many are currently in use so pretty straightforward and there's actually a link at the bottom of this that will show you a website for memory upgrade instructions and if you left click on that it will open up the, an Apple domain page and you can go on their support site and then what I would actually recommend is looking up your actual computer specs like if different information you might have about your computer and seeing if your version of Mac is upgradable um, if you have a laptop if you could look up MacBook Pro or whatever Macintosh device you're using and see if that is upgradable um, I would highly recommend doing that but that's about it for this tutorial guys I hope it did help you out and I will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye